Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to respond to a tweet with a screencast because it's probably faster. So what I did, I recorded a screencast to, uh, to compare uh, or to measure the footprint of a Quarkus MicroProfile project and I got a nice tweet. Uh, could you also compare the running performance of Quarkus uh, transactions per second to something? And what I would like to do is to compare it with Whitefly. So I would like to compare Whitefly to Quarkus. And why that? Because I think it's fair. Um, Quarkus uses the same, uh, or uses the same, uses the infrastructure from Whitefly, so they should be somehow comparable. Um, so let's take a look what I did. So um, there is, um, I started with my uh, Jakarta E8 uh, archetype, just deleted the uh, Jakarta E8 dependency because it's not needed. So Whitefly, we just uh, rely um, on MicroProfile. And for Quarkus, there's another POM called QPOM. I just reusing the same POM I already uh, created in the in the previous podcast. So um, what I also did, I modified the, the, the code a bit. I had to add a JAXRS configuration um, because uh, Whitefly needs that in order to register the application path. Also, I added here a timed annotation. So what the application does is a request scoped annotation. So I also added request scoped. And um, this timed um, uh, is, is um, it will generate metrics or expose metrics. This service message points to this class, which is also metered, and it was also added is local date time now with a config property and the message is a JSON uh, message, which is not used in our tests. We also have a liveness and readiness probe. So let's start with the test. So Java is hopefully killed, it is. So now let's reinstall uh, Whitefly, which will completely delete and um, and install Whitefly. And uh, let's start Whitefly. And this uh, takes three seconds. And now um, I would like to use what? So watch and deploy tool to, to deploy the application. And the name of the microservice is Q. And, and so what it means is I could should be able to ping the service with, or ping to fetch the data with localhost 8080 Q because of Whitefly and resources slash hello. And this returns hello. So now, now let's start uh, with the test and how to do that. Um, so what I would like to do is to run my test and this will start a test with uh, 10 threads, uh, 100 uh, HTTP connections and it will take 10 seconds. So um, I would like to run the, trace, uh, the test twice to give the server opportunity to warm up and th there are no transactions involved so what we are actually measuring are requests per second. And um, as you can see the test was wrong so why? I forgot the queue. So do it again with the queue. So now the application is actually called. So uh, we got uh, a lot of requests which are not two, 200, so this was not successful. So, um, and now we had uh, 3,600 transactions per second and now repeat the test again. And then we will copy the result and compare it to Quarkus. This is, um, the test is of course not scientific and the problem is I'm using here uh, the default uh, default configuration from Whitefly and default configuration with from Quarkus. So um, they not e that, uh, the configuration are probably not even comparable. So we have six and a half thousand uh, requests per second and uh, just uh, copy that. And um, I would like to add it here to the result and say this was Whitefly. Okay, now uh, kill Java because we don't need the, uh, now it's killed, the what is also killed. And um, I would ra ra like right now to build the Quarkus application and this works with QPOM. And then I could launch Quarkus from command line with target runner. And now it launched with all the dependencies. Now start work once again, and this time without Q, because Quarkus, there is no deployment in Quarkus, so there is no name of, of the war inside the path. So let's perform the first test. Takes uh, 10 seconds, or should take 10 seconds. That's the idea. 
And um, so what we have are 5,000 transactions per second. So do it again. And um, it should be actually comparable. So the next, the, the, next, the next one will be significantly faster because everything warps up, right? So if we copy this um, here, this is the Quarkus result. Quarkus. And we see with Quarkus, uh, there are six, uh, six and a half thousand transactions per second. With Quarkus, we have uh, 8,000. So why that? The reason is probably because uh, here we I used request scoped, and the request scoped the application server had to re-inject the dependency over and over again, and Quarkus optimizes at build time, so there is no reflection at runtime. So thank you for watching, and see you at upcoming conferences, workshop, or airhex.com at Munich Airport at, for instance, at uh, Quarkus workshop. So thank you and bye.